Let's talk about formatting columns and rows. So first thing I'm going to show you how to do is insert a column or row if you've forgotten to add something. So for example, up here at column H, I want a column between G and H, so I'm going to highlight column H. I'm going to go up to insert, and I'm going to say I want a column to the left of this. Now I've got another column that I can use um, for my spreadsheet. Another way you can do that is you can also insert by clicking on a column and right-clicking instead of left. And same thing, you can choose to insert a column left or right of the column that you're looking at. It works the exact same way with a row. I can highlight a row. I can go up to insert and say insert a row above or below. Or I can click a row, right-click, and say insert a row above or below. So that's the first trick, inserting columns or rows. You can, of course, also delete an entire column or row that you don't need. So again, you can go up and right click and just choose to delete the row. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is resize your column or row. So as you notice in column J, my words don't quite fit into the cell. I've got a couple options. One is I can go between J and K, I can double click, and it automatically makes the width of my column fit the text that's inside of it. So that's one option. A second option is that I can simply go between J and K and use this slider to make it smaller or larger, depending on what I'm looking for. The final option I have is to click the column right click and say resize the column. And this is a good way to get each column precisely the size that you want it. So instead of 171, I want it to be exactly 150. And here we go. You can do the same exact thing with rows. You can go between row five and six and make it larger or smaller. You can double click to make sure things fit appropriately, or you can right click and tell it exactly how big you want the row to be. Final trick with formatting columns and rows is you might be thinking, how do you get one of those fancy spreadsheets that has like the alternating white and gray shading in the background? There is a quick shortcut, much easier than doing all of that by hand. Let's highlight all of the area that I want that to happen with. Go up to format and choose alternating colors and there it did. It for you, you can tell it what range to apply it to, tell it whether there is a header or not, and a footer or not, change the color of the customization that you want, and do all kinds of other stuff that will affect your entire spreadsheet and give you a nice, clean-looking, finished product. Hi, this is Jessica from NextGen Personal Finance. I hope my video made you love spreadsheets as much as I do. NGPF is a nonprofit organization offering free personal finance resources for high school teachers to use with their students. Frankly, our curriculum is amazing. Be sure to check out our website or watch my entire playlist of helpful spreadsheet videos. Enjoy!